All right, we're Arts and Adventure Summit Sea Airwaves. This is the Ogden Arts and Adventure Show. I'm R. Brandon Long. Along with the greatest co-host in all the land, Todd Oberdorfer. Todd Oberdorfer. Ah, I was a little slow. On oh, this I was, or I was too fast. Maybe way. a little bit of both, yeah. And we are your hosts for the greatest podcast in all the land. Joining us in studio, and this is fun because um, it's like all, we have all ladies in here today. We have <clears throat> Amy and Haley. Uh, Amy Knight, Haley Pride from the Ogden Climbing Festival, and we'll we'll go. We're going to dive deep in this because it's been what year is it this year? Sixteen. Sixteen. Sixteen years. Okay. Yeah, that's a long. We we've been involved. I've been involved from for a long time, but I'm actually not involved, which is fine. I'm okay with it. Uh, but hurt, we have it been covering little. it for at least 10, 12, 11, been, 12. I think time. you're right. We've been covering it the whole time. And so, yeah. and so this is good. So we'll, we'll, when we started Ogden Outdoor Adventure, you were working at the outdoor program. At the yet? outdoor program. And the reason we started, the reason we started this, the parent show, Ogden Adventure to, oh, come on in, Shane. Ogden Adventure. <clears throat> um, and now our Ogden Arts and Adventure was because, let me shine the camera on on Shane here for a minute. Yeah, he's a <laughs> uh, was because we were looking for a way to promote everything that the Ogden, um, the the Outdoor Adventure Center was was doing at Weber State because yeah. we couldn't get people to participate in all the stuff we were doing. So hopefully it's better now. I'm, I'm well, they got a they got this new building and the, yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. Big. We attributed it all to you though. <laughs> I take full credit. Twelve, sixteen years later, whatever that is. Uh, okay, so also in studio with us we have Sandra Holman. Sandra, you don't have this is great. Uh, I love this because Sandra doesn't have like like a nonprofit or anything. I She's don't. just putting her own money into the the Mitten Mittendorf. You say it. Mittendorf Festival. See, much better. Mittendorf yes. Festival. Uh, now we we all have to try that. So it's Mittendorf. Right? Yeah, mitten durch. Durch. Mitten durch. <laughs> Get your. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, you guys have to try. Same time. Mitten durch. Mitten You sound good. You it's like you're at home. And that's what it feels like, doesn't yeah. it, Sandra? <laughs> Sandra, okay, the Mitten durch f- Festival, uh, which means. Going, going straight through it, essentially, yeah. right? In in German, um, Sanders German, obviously. So this is a an awareness, a mental health awareness concert that will be down at the Ogden Amphitheater. Sandra is putting this on herself. Foreign figures, blind love, future ex boyfriend, who we've had on van sessions, junk percussion trio, and old ghost Nick Garn, who we've also had on van Heck sessions. Yeah. This is May twenty seventh. Twenty bucks at the door. So, uh, you know, go now. <laughs> this is the. How much you making off of this, Sandra? Probably not much. <laughs> <laughs> you're just doing this. You're just doing this for the love. Is that why? Yes, yes, I'm doing it for because uh, I want to raise awareness for mental health. Thirty percent of all Utahns suffer from mental health. We actually the leading state with mental health problems. Are we really? According to the next study, I didn't know that in 2022. I fully so, believe that. And huh. uh, also, um, we are on 50 one spot uh, for mentalhealth.com with, uh, with uh, less access to mental care. Uh, we, we don't go seek help. So okay, so wait, sure. we're, the, we're the state with the most problems, but we're also the state with the least amount of acne, asking for help, I guess. Yeah, I, okay. I think that's it. They didn't really um, uh, go in detail when I looked at the study, but um, so we are, we are really very low with um, seeking help, getting help, and uh, and we are high on mental Ill, mental illness. So, okay. So, uh, what's your involvement on the mental health side? Why did you pick a, an awareness for mental health? Well, um, in twin, um, uh, Tyler Klen, when he did uh, Love Loud, right before he did Love Loud, uh, he's from um, Neon Trees. He started crying, and he, he 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 was really really upset because he was a Mormon, and then. That was his spot in the church, and then he got, and then they amended the con- the church con- constitution. When he cried so much, and was looking for um, a place to be. It hurt me. It, it hurt me. Like seeing him cry like that, it it, it made me really upset. And then um, during the same time, three, uh, six kids, um, my kids knew, uh, died of suicide, and so uh, 
I just want to. I just want to help people. I mean, I just want to show people what's available, and also I think um, people always think when they get help, like depression is gonna be an end in sight. But actually, you just have to. That's the name comes where the names come from. You have to always go through it. You will, it's like asthma and diabetes. When you suffer from depression, anxiety, you constantly have to conquer and conquer and conquer. It's never gonna like be totally the end. It's not like looking at the bright side and it's done. It's all it's a mental illness. So I want to show where where help is available when the help is needed. And you have personal history. I don't know if you want to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, I grew up in an orphanage because my parents was uh, both of my parents were schizophrenic. So I grew That's up. That's schizophrenic, Todd. Yeah. I like the way you say it. <laughs> we call it schizophrenic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, I was, um, I got in the orphanage when I was two years old. Um, my parents dropped me off at an aunt, and the aunt never, I mean, they never returned, so they got me into the orphanage like two kilometers away from it, from them. So um, so I saw my parents after that maybe twice or three times a year. And um, and back then the help was, was deep medication, so my parents died very young. Um, but now I think people with schizophrenia can, can live a good life with the help available. So what kind of awareness are you providing at the actual event? Uh, there's booths there, right? Yes, I want to have the community involved. I want to have as many information and booths avail booths not booths booths. <laughs> <laughs> booths available as possible. I'm also thinking often people uh, don't realize that ADHD is a is a is a mental illness, and people people who suffer from ADHD they can focus, they can have a career. often they have problems with careers, they forget to text you. All the kind of, like like mental illnesses you don't even think of as a mental illness because often when you go to mental health festivals you only see depression and anxiety and but uh, not even anxiety that much there's no anxiety hotline there's only a, a suicide hotline but sometimes people with relationship anxiety they exhaust all their friendships and stuff like that because they dump it on everybody so i w wish there would be an anxiety hotline available oh man i totally would. i've had panic attacks where i thought i was going to die and i end up in like the not the not the er the emergency room but you go to the cl local clinic and i remember the nurses that check you in and i'm like why are they not panicked like i'm gonna die yeah. but they they know that i'm just having a, a panic attack and so if there was a number or something that i could call that would probably be helpful and i know they have a utah crisis line but and and they're saying it's for anxiety but often it's just built as a as a, a suicide hotline and um like i i was a web mt chunky i thought i was i had all the mental um, uh, all the illnesses in the world as i was dying of cancer onset of Al alzheimer with 30 things like that and and when you dump it on every friend you have after a while you don't have no friends no more so i think it would be good to have an anxiety hotline too but anyway uh, um at my festival i want addiction anxiety depression um uh, anonymous alcoholics and even churches can provide help for people uh, who seek help. Like I want all the churches, Washington Heights, I haven't approached them yet, Washington Heights and St. Joseph and LDS Church there. And I want the Bright Center t there too. So I want everybody there who can, who has information for people so they know, okay, I can call them if I need or I can go there and seek therapy. Well, I love this idea, I think this is wonderful. I think this thank is you, wonderful. Thank you. Do you have a date uh, chosen yet? May 27th. May 27th is, you have time to, for this to grow even just a little bit more before May 27th. Yeah. I think that uh, somebody who's listening to the show right now is going to contribute in some way and we'll put them in touch with you. Okay. That because be I great. think that thank this you. is such a fantastic idea. I think the mental health that touches all of us in some capacity every day. And like you said, it's not something that just goes away. I think that... Anxiety and depression is one thing, we were just talking about that, of course, that should be taught in schools. Um, yeah. It should be much more accepted uh, at this point than it is. And so, yes. I mean, that definitely touches me as well. And then also, like, 
untidy houses or things like that where people beat beat themselves up over it. That's also a symptom of of uh, mental health issues. And and often people are not lazy; they just have a hard time getting themselves together. So, and I think um, in Utah, women hide kind of because they want to like um, show that they are. Um, like hospital and on all that kind of stuff. So a good woman, like with the LTS faith. And I think uh, it's often hidden um, mental il- mental health illness. And I think that's why, uh, I think there's a relationship between the LTS faith and uh, not, and mental illness because we have to, we always want to be good and look good. And, oh, if and, I think if we looked a little deeper, I think we'd find real fast that the prescription um the amount of people on prescriptions uh, in the state of Utah is, is very high. In fact, I'm, I imagine we're in the top couple. But we're not talking about the reasons why probably all those pres- pres- prescriptions are being taken. So I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I don't want to, like, harbor on the LDS church. I mean, I, I was um, I was doing a Bible study myself as opposed to one of the chapel. We, there was lots of ladies, including me, who were struggling. And everybody wants to always look good, women in particular, they always want to look good, and 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 everything is considered like, especially in the Baptist belief, a sin or anything like that. So so they're not putting it out there when they're struggling, and then it's cause and then it's seen as lazy when you cannot <coughs> cut your grass or your house, uh, clean your house or something like that. So I want to make people more aware of symptoms, which they're not really aware of. That's so interesting because men share the same issues in totally different ways. Yeah, not being able to focus, not, not well. The up. the mm-hmm. trying to be somebody maybe manly or something yeah. that that you're trying to portray something to the public, and then behind closed doors you're breaking down or something, you know. Yeah. And so I've never heard anybody say that about me, but I, I do hear what you're saying. Shade's over there going, "Yeah, this is this guy, this guy over here." Shade just didn't dare tell you. <laughs> we have a. We have a meeting afterwards. But this so, does this yeah. does happen. This is very sure. <laughs> and so, when you put together an event like this, it creates this safe space, yeah, and a place of resources. And you know, you you can have an amazing time with these amazing bands. Where'd you get the lineup that you have so far? Well, during COVID, I saw um, during the pan- I call it usually pandemic regulations, not COVID. There you go. <laughs> pandemic relations. <laughs> regulations. Oh, yeah. During the pandemic regulations, there were no no concerts, not many concerts and things like that, and so um, Foreign Figures was one of the bands who did play at the Gateway Mall. Okay. Um, where you can. It's like 20 people, you could go there and you see it and then you go to see the next band. I know that the Proper Way played on one of them too. So I, I saw them there and then I saw them at the Fork. Proper Way plays everywhere. Oh my God, you can't <laughs> escape them. I'm like, maybe this is one place that they haven't seeped into and it's like, nope, they've been down there as well. And then I saw them at the Fork Festival in 2022 and it was one of those bands which were twice like bigger and played, played at the like during the pandemic regulation. And then my daughter saw them in Sandwich Junior High. They saw them in uh, Salt Lake City of Performing Arts, not during COVID, no. They, they, their, their platform is mental health. And uh, in Roy High, they were in Fumont. So they're going all over the state uh, telling kids not to bully as their kids and be themselves. This was the band? The that foreign was the, figures. Foreign band. figures, okay. Yeah, so that's that's how I picked them. And I also saw them at Love Loud when they opened for Kesha. That in um, was it in 2017, I think. So, so that was always a band I wanted to to have if um, for a mental health festival. It's the first band I approached, and they were fully f- for it. So, and then I had uh, Blind Love. Broken is a friend of mine. I saw him opening. Broken is the lead singer from Blind Love for The Offspring at the uh, um, Nightmare Before Christmas. They, the they X, open for the offspring. X X ninety six at yeah, and so uh, and then he became my friend. And then during the pandemic, he they had the song "I Want to Be Okay," and it, it went nationwide, oh. all over the um. Well, how country. did I miss that? I wonder. I wonder if I know it. I would have to listen to it. Blind Love. Yeah, I don't know. You know it? No, that song. I would, that song. I'm not yeah, that and song. then they got signed, but I I don't think they're signed no more. But uh, we thought, and and when I met Broken, he's the same 
like I met him online first and then I met him in person he's the same on, <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. like in person than he is like online and then of course Nick was my, was a friend of mine he's old ghost since 2022 because he played at music at the plaza so and then uh the future expo when the drum I used to store um the drum at uh, Caleb's studio UT audio and I liked them because I saw them at the trail fest and I saw them at Buzzards and B in Provo I really liked them a lot the future ex-boyfriend and then the junk percussion trio they played at the mental health festival at Weber State last year they had a small festival and I really like how they play on pots and pans so that's how I got them the only band I approached and didn't really want to play was Chris Allen he's American Idol winner yeah this is yeah the blind love song I want to be okay <laughs> From the sink to the and that's what we have rights for right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know it? Well, no, no wait, but I'll listen to it. Fine. It's never easy to hear your name. Well, it sounds like you found each other, these bands. Yeah. Indiana. And they're going to open for Royal Blisses on, on Saturday. And then they uh, open for Blue October. It was their, their dream to open for Blue October. They opened for Blue October a couple months ago. Oh, that's wonderful. So, yeah. And the lead, the lead singer right now of Foreign Figures almost, almost wasn't going to make the show because he's yeah. a little busy, right? Yeah. So when I um I approached Foreign Figures, they were all saying, "Man, we are super excited. That's what we're standing for." And then right before when when it came to signing the contract, they told me. Hey, we might be only a three piece because one of us, uh, each is gonna be at um, at a national singing competition. That's what they called it. I figured out it would be probably a American Idol or The Voice, and then um, and then uh, each boasted a couple weeks ago that he's on The Voice, and then um, two weeks ago they told me that he will be at my festival. So. Well, that's wow. Yeah, that's yeah. impressive. So he's on The Voice this season, right yes. now. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. And he was picked by Blake Shilton, and now he's five. Uh, well, we don't yeah. have to hold that against him. But. <laughs> 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 oh, he's fine. I'm kidding. I kid. I and, kid. Hey, well, it's Blake's last season. This is a big deal, Todd. This is a big day <laughs> for me. <laughs> this is fantastic. This day gets better and better. No, no I think that's that great. Better. And now he's on Neil Horm, I think is his name. Oh, he got, he's, he got a team swap. Yeah. I don't know what they call that. Okay. And and I think Neil is from One Direction. Or yeah. Was, was he on One yeah, Direction? You're, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They had one now, good now song. Now we're talking my guys there. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but so I did not know that he was going to be on The Voice. So when I approached him, but That's I'm funny. like. I sometimes It means you like have excellent that. taste in music is what it means. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I'm kind of excited that I picked him before I, I knew. So. Well, I was, I was talking to Sandra before and I said, so... Uh, by the way, you can follow Mitten Dirch, Dirch Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. you're just gonna breeze right through that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna breeze right through. You can follow it. us on Instagram, <laughs> on Facebook, oh. and on uh, in, Bands in Town, and it, the tickets can. can be bought on Eventbrite. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, there it is. M I T T E N D U R C H. Because because you're probably by the way I'm saying it, not gonna no, just you, go ahead you're, you're and search good. that on Instagram. Mitten, 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 really good. Uh, but, but you do have some of the socials, but you're, I just found it fascinating. I said, would well, you have a nonprofit or anything? She was like, no, I'm just going to pay for it. I'm going to pay for it, build awareness, and hopefully I can do it again next year. Correct. Correct. I, 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 um, I was in a car accident in 2021 and, um, the guy hit me hard. I couldn't move the right leg for a couple of months. So I had a settlement, and I thought, oh, well, now finally I can. I told my husband, we're not going to spend the money on vacation or anything. We're just going to do it for the festival. So, <laughs> you know, because so, it's my... Anything. Shane's in here. He's, he's from a, a local band, and I'm like, that's how you spend money, Shane. Like, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Spend it, so, spend it on a local festival. So that's props, and, and one that raises awareness. Yeah, so should I get the money back, then we're going to do another one next year, so... But it's, but yeah, put this on your calendar now if you're listening. May 27th. It's only 20 bucks to get in. It's for a good cause. 
Uh, let's help Sandra recoup her funds for crying out loud. Yeah. And then did I hear this is at the amphitheater? Yeah. So so who are you working with at the city? Ashley Brookwell and Derek Williamson. Ashley and Derek yeah. at the city. So, yeah. Okay. Sorry you were assigned to Derek. But, <laughs> again. But Shane went with me oh, okay. to, uh, <laughs> to talk to Derek for the first time. Oh, so Derek's Shane. all right. We tease. We're <laughs> friends. <laughs> 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 this small town sometimes. Yeah. Oh. That's well, good. Hey, good, good luck, Sandra. I'm so happy you're doing this. You got a really good lineup again Foreign Figures, Blind Love, Future X Boyfriend, which they were really, really good on. We Band loved Band. having yeah. them on the yeah. sessions, yeah. Uh, and then Junk Percussion Trio and Old Ghost m- may. He may be tied for the record with most van sessions. I'm not, bu- well, I watched them all. Proper, proper yeah, is, just... yeah, four yeah. five. We had him back when he was a young ghost. Yeah, that's how. <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> he was still alive. Wasn't even a ghost. He was just. It was before. He was just old. He was, <laughs> he was also the reverend. It he was, was when he was still alive. <laughs> He was um, also the reverend in the revelry. I can't yeah, yeah. Say he's that. been on the. Yeah. <laughs> I know because he's, every he's, time it's he, been real easy to follow his career. Oh yeah. Like, it really come on, the, I'm like, oh, what, what do you? <laughs> what do I call you? What do I, <laughs> what do I call you? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. We well, were uh, banned for a while too. One thing we have to say about Nick. I mean, Nick is old ghost. So when I told him, hey, I got the funds, he said, well, let's do it. You don't have to charge me anything. I do every, anything you want me to do, Sandra, for the festival, because that's important to me. So, I mean, he was like right then mm. and like checking in and stuff like that. So that's really nice. And Nick is like good amazing. He's a good guy. Yeah. Amazing performer. So it's going to be a great day. Awesome. Yep. Good luck again. That is May 27th, <coughs> Mittendersch. Uh, Mittendersch. Going straight through it Mitten festival. Dirch. Let's just, yeah. I will <laughs> Dirk? Dirk. Dirk. Good Dirk. job, Dirk. yes. And it's Dirk. like, I'm going on One a bear hunt. I'm Dirk. going on a bear hunt. I can't go over it. I can't go under it. You, have you not played that? Yeah. When you were like a... You say a bear friend? hunt? Was it lion hunt or bear hunt? I... Like I don't bear hunt. Bear hunt. Yeah, bear yes. hunt. Okay. Yeah, okay. you can't go over it. Okay. You can't go under it. You gotta go straight. Straight through. through it. And then by the time they meet the bear, then they run off. Well, we cannot <laughs> really run off. We can. We, we people with st- depression, they still have to do it. We yeah. Have that. So go straight through it. Yeah. So. Mitten durch. Killed it. Is that better? That's good. That's See? That yes. Good. yes. On that yes. note. <laughs> On that note. Uh, thanks, Sandra, so much for coming in today. Um, another festival, which is in its 16th year, the Ogden Climbing Festival, bringing back a pretty cool speaker this year. You want to talk about the speaker first? So this is, yeah, we're with Amy and Haley of the Weber State University Outdoor Program and the Ogden Climbing Festival. Uh, this was Daniel Turner's dream when he came to Ogden. He brought, sort of brought it from Idaho, sort of the the uh, history behind it and then turn it into the Ogden Climbing Festival. It's typically in the past, it's varied, but it's been um, climbing um, competition and then a speaker and then some community work uh, sort of has sort of been the three things involved every year. So probably we'll be doing something similar again this year and the speaker is awesome. Yeah, we've got um, Phil Henderson coming in. He led the first all black expedition up Everest last year. And he's going to come as well as Appa Sherpa, who lives here locally in Salt Lake, but he summited Everest, Everest 21 He had times. the, does he have the record? He used to, but I think he's, somebody's passed that. Okay. So, yeah. 21 times summiting Everest. That's pretty good. Wild. <laughs> I know. And he goes to base camp every year. So He does now? He still goes, yeah. Okay. And that's cool. So is he, he's talking as well? I guess I missed that. Um, yeah, he's going to open for Phil okay. um, and talk a little bit about what his just So let's does. get this straight. So, <laughs> yeah, if you summit Everest 21 times, you're just the opener for <laughs> Phil. For Phil. So, to warm up the crowd. <laughs> to warm up the crowd, yeah. Yeah, yeah but Phil was he led the first all, all African-American team up Everest. Yep. Wow. So cool. Okay. And when is this? When's the, the next weekend? Um, yeah, next weekend, the 14th through the 16th. Phil is Friday night here at the Union Station. Tickets cost? Um, tickets are $15 um, just for like general admissions and then uh, 30 if you want like the meal ticket and you get to eat with Phil and Appa. 
Okay. Yeah. Like trail food, like what they would eat on the <laughs> <Yeah>. stomach. <laughs> um, no, we've got a couple of food trucks coming oh, in. We've got um, the pizza cone <laughs> zone and Wasatch. I kind of would love that. <laughs> I think that next would, time yeah. everything's served in a pouch. You have to <laughs> <laughs> just pour water. It's all dehydrated. We have a major <laughs> steamer going. And we yeah. get all your hot water for you. No, yeah. we'll just make them cold yeah. soak it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even more enticing. <laughs> All that information is wonderful, but I think the most important thing is, how's the swag this year? Oh, it's really Ooh. good. Like the sponsors always turn up for, um, like the Ogden Climbing Festival. Even this year, I reached out to Big Agnes, and it was like no. And then like two like oh, two weeks later, they're like, wait, we hear you have Phil coming. Ah! <laughs> and I was like, we do have Phil coming. Wait, they like, said no. You yeah, lead yeah. <laughs> with Phil. You lead with Phil. I know, yeah, I know. Yeah. So, but like that's always in my email and stuff that I like approach them with. But then somebody reached back out and they're like, oh, actually, we like Phil. We'll send you some stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, cool. So it's all who you know. I <laughs> it's tell true. you. Yeah. Oh. Or all who you have is your keynote, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, which is good. So, who else besides Big Agnes is supporting? Um, a lot of local folks. Uh, cool is supporting Ice Meal Coolers, Petzl, La Sportiva, Black Diamond. Um, gosh, it's just no. That's okay because I'm on. on yeah, no, yeah. I'm putting you on the spot a little bit. But I love these major brands are just our local. Those there are local. <laughs> there are, I mean, yeah, you expect to hear like local shops. No, it's like these major yeah. brands. <laughs> but I've been to events where Cool is the sponsor. Mm -hmm. I've never seen so much swag in my life. Yeah. They give so much stuff away. It's wild yeah and, and it's good stuff like yeah they gave us a lot of like really like bougie jackets like bougie. I, would, I wouldn't afford that jacket <laughs> like and those will give away at, out at phil at i can day. sort of blame cool <laughs> for the way i dress these days and this is an or but it could could probably be cool but like, they're pretty dad it's sort of dad outdoor dad, chic. Outdoor dad yeah. chic is that bougie i like dad. that bougie dad yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's sort of cool's lane a little bit you know I'll own it. I love cool. I I wear them all the time. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I have, a, I have a cool jacket, but I'm kind of a outdoor dad. <laughs> chic for sure. Bougie outdoor yeah. dad chic. Yeah. Okay. What? That's your. That's, that's your, my brand. That's yeah. your brand. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm down with that. Yeah, yeah. Um. Good. So this is on uh, the wait. Time out. Is that a Friday? Correct. Yeah. Okay. What else is going on? Yeah, so Friday, there's going to be a crate stacking event, which is always really fun, especially for students, um, right before the speaker, and then we'll have our big keynote down at, it's at Union Station. This You're not day, doing so. the crate, crate stacking at Union, are you? Oh, no. Okay. That's, well, that's going to be, be outdoor campus, yeah. in the parking lot in the, at St. Joe's. I think that that's... <laughs> I like that idea. See how high we can get on that asphalt, I think that'll be great. <laughs> we're going to have to make that happen next year. <laughs> I mean, we're like four high and people are getting Just nervous. <laughs> crash pads everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> No, this is in the gym. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it'll be up at our climbing gym. Okay. Yep. And then we'll have Phil and Appa. Um, we're really raising awareness with that as well because we're planning a student uh, service learning trip to Nepal in 2024. So we're going to be promoting that pretty big. So our, our whole theme is pretty Nepal-centric. So I want to go. Bring yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't back when this you were working there. This was not when I, I uh -uh. worked there. Not an option. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you're the reason that we can do this. So. <laughs> Haley, yes, of course. We will take full credit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Every and time then, I visited you there, it didn't look like a well-oiled machine, but I'm just saying, clearly it, it was. It has improved greatly since I left. <laughs> 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 always been doing good work. Yeah, always. They been got doing this good new work. building up there. It's really nice. It's all yeah. because of you, Brandon. Yeah, yeah. Daniel Turner had nothing to do with nope. it. Nope. So. <laughs> the last fifteen years. Yeah. Daniel's the man behind the Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play. That's this actually in how front he of... introduces himself. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play this to Daniel at all. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay. All right. All right. What's going on this weekend? That weekend? Because it's a festival. Yeah, 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 we'll be we'll be rolling all weekend. Saturday, Amy's putting on a, a climbing competition up at at our facility. Um, I'll probably let her talk a little bit more about that. No, but I like that Amy's just holding the rooster's pillow. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I feel yeah, I so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I am. They're my comfort object. Um, yeah, Saturday we'll have uh, a bouldering competition. It's gonna go all day, like nine to four. We have some vendors there, like REI is coming up from Farmington. They're gonna bring some stuff, um, as well as. Some other folks yet to be committed. Um, and Good. yeah, so and lots of swag there as well that we'll be giving out to all the competitors. Who What's come the out. Uh, format? 
Um, yeah, so just Boulder, Red Point, they'll have, there's like two hour sessions and they can come and climb. They sign up for their session and then we do like results and prizes at the end. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit Shane up here because Shane is a, was a pro mountain biker. At least he did a race that was really sort of pro. He raced against Lance Armstrong. Racing, he, did, he raced against did. Lance Armstrong. Um, did you ever boulder? Uh, just recreationally, yeah. Never, never, never pro. <laughs> Now's your chance. We have a, uh, <clears throat> we have a comp coming up, okay. so I hear. There's a and, beginner category. And there's You're a beginner good. category. And this is fun. This is funny because when the fest first started and I was working at the outdoor program and I was like, oh, I used to could. I could climb. I'll in, I, I don't feel it's fair for me to enter beginning. I'll enter intermediate. And I entered intermediate the first year and I was the last place inter, <laughs> intermediate because it was really hard. <laughs> so, and it was in, that was in the upper boulder field. Oh yeah, and I wasn't. I actually wasn't familiar with that as much as the lower Boulder Field, but yeah, it was outside. And this year, <laughs> I don't think we could go outside this year. Was a we rough. always think about it, but <laughs> yeah, just hold. wait. It'll be seventy that day. It'll yeah. be Thank all God. clear, yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and you'll be inside. No, that's what we're hoping for. Because Saturday and Sunday, we're also offering a handful, like uh, about a dozen clinics, and so they'll be scattered out throughout Saturday and Sunday. So we're hoping for seventy. I really it's appreciate coming. that, Todd. Yeah, are you running any of those, Haley? Um, I'll be kind of intermixed facilitating, but you yeah. you have a clipboard? What's that? Will you have a clipboard? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, deal. Surprised yeah. I don't have one here. Usually it's, <laughs> it's attached. Yeah. Usually it's... I, there are a lot of clip... Or there used to be a lot of clipboards at the other Yeah, they go so. missing a lot. Yeah, so. yeah. Probably Brandon. <laughs> if I had any questions about anything, I would look for the clipboard. <laughs> That's right. house with them. <laughs> it's... <laughs> I shingle my house with them. Yeah. <laughs> Probably somebody is. That's where they've all been going. <laughs> hey, it keeps the rain out. I don't know. What yeah. Uh, what are, well, I can't even see a serious face now. What the clinics are? A uh, big variety. I was just opening up my email because I was uh, wanting to make sure we recognize some folks because we've had a lot of support this year from um, other clinic instructors coming from the Salt Lake Climbers Alliance, Salt Lake Area Queer Climbers. The Front Climbing Club, um, Ogden Area Climbers Meetup, uh, Utah Valley University, all sorts of folks coming in from outside to help us with our instructors, obviously all along with our uh, Weber State University trip leaders. Um, so we're going to be offering some indoor, some outdoor clinics. We have a, a roundtable discussion on um, inclusivity and accessibility in the outdoors. Um, actually, Phil's going to be one of the panelists at that. Oh, wow. Um, a lot of along with a lot of other local folks. So, um, yeah, uh, Trad Skills uh, Clinic, which we're hoping for good weather for that one so yeah. we can really get folks out and um, practice in placements and anchors and muck leading and things like that. Um, so there's things that are a little bit more advanced like that, all the way down to, you know, how to build a, a sport anchor, um, those types of clinics. Um, and then the basic got, brand and maneuver, if they could. Basic. Basic, basic brand and maneuver. Yeah. There should be a clinic just for that alone. Yeah, I teach that one, but I stopped a few years ago <laughs> because no one could do it. So <laughs> we'd be happy to bring it back. <laughs> yeah, let me know. Let me know for a price. Yeah. I'll I'll uh, volunteer. I guess yeah. you could open for Appa. Yep. Opening for Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I've never opened for anyone. That'd be amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's basically bouldering with a beer in your hand. That's it's, basically it's, what I mean. Yeah. I have some videos on the internet with me doing that. If you search hard enough, it's they're they're out there. So, have you have you met Phil yet? Have you got to talk to him or spend any time with him? Or I haven't met him in person yet. No, but okay. Daniel actually ran into him at base camp um, at Everest Base Camp. Of course, yeah. So, yeah. Um, Is that where he invited him? Yeah, that's oh, where the wow. connection was that's made. Crazy. It's really neat. Yeah. So Daniel. Went on a, a scouting trip with the Appa Sherpa Foundation. Sorry, last that's year. for those who don't know who Daniel is. So, oh yeah, yeah. yeah he is. Um, he's associate director of campus recreation at uh, Weber State, and he oversees the outdoor program. So he's he's really built the outdoor program to be what it is over the last fifteen years. And um, 
he's our boss, which is awesome. Um, and he went with the Alpha Sherpa Foundation last year on a trip to Nepal. And um, they were visiting local villages, supporting the foundation, and trekked to base camp and ran into Phil Henderson there. And uh, Daniel actually shot us a text, kind of giddy, like, I met Phil Henderson today. <laughs> um, Gave him my business card. <laughs> he probably did, yeah. Uh, yeah, and made that connection. And um, obviously what we want to be supporting and uh, promoting uh, that trip with the Apple Sherpa Foundation coming up next year so uh yeah he reached out to phil and phil was gracious to do that and uh as well as appa sherpa and in the the folks from his uh, organization are coming up as well i'm actually gonna get to go on a trip with them coming up in, in about two weeks so I'll like be what in, kind of trip in nepal yeah so i'll like be are you climbing like, or, or what are you doing so i'm gonna be on kind of a scouting mission again um so Appa grew up in one of the small villages surrounding um, Everest Base Camp, and I don't want to tell his story for him, and he'll be here to tell a much better version of it, but um, basically he grew up and it was just kind of expected you go into the tourism industry, like that's what you do, that's where the money is, and so um, he obviously did really well for himself, yeah. but one wanted... Know anything about that? <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, yeah, just want kids in that area to have options, and so that's really his purpose in his foundation is supporting the local villages there. So I'll be traveling around, like trekking to some of those local villages and um, scouting out projects so that we can do a really valuable um, service project for one of the local villages there next year with some students. And then I get to trek to base camp. So that's amazing. Don't this forget your clipboard. Yeah, 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 I have uh, a, a backup one as well. So <laughs> this traveling is a your travel, your travel your job clipboard. is to travel with a clipboard. Yeah. That's right. yeah. <laughs> To really cool places and do fun things. That's so. amazing. What a great opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Do you want to plug the outdoor program for a minute and what you guys have been doing all year and how busy it's been and summer's coming eventually, I guess? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Summer is coming. Amy's looking forward to it. And we have, you know, this big fleet of rafts and paddle boards and kayaks. and Rafting you know, is going to be off the hook this right, year. Right, <laughs> exactly. The last two or three summers have been rough. It's been pretty dry and, um, you know, we just haven't been able to do our thing, which is support people and get getting into the outdoors and finding themselves outside instead of cooped up. And so, yeah, it's been a really crazy winter and really, I don't know, a busy one for us. Uh, lots of avalanche education. We offer airy, uh, level one and two courses and as well as rescue courses along with, um, Ogden avalanche. We kind of collaborate on those. And so we ran a bunch of, uh, area education courses as well as all sorts of, you know, intro to backcountry touring, things like that. And then Amy's had an excellent year at the rental shop, um, sending out skis every weekend and snowshoes and like probably a lot and of skis and we, everything. So it's a campus it's, we were located on Weaver State University campus, but mm -hmm. open to the public. Yeah. Right? We rent to the general public probably more than we do students. Yeah. For sure. So, so is the football team still come in there and, and rent? <laughs> They were my favorite customers, <laughs> by the way. I wouldn't say the football team. I, I mean, I have a football player who works for me. He does yeah, who him. works for you? Okay. Um, Hayden. <laughs> Plug in Hayden. I know. <laughs> Go Hayden. I know. <laughs> Gosh, what's his last name? <laughs> Put me on the spot. Yeah. No, he's super neat. Um, but they've got a new. No, I just now. really like the football yeah. team because they had no fear. <laughs> they would come in and are like. I need to snowboard, you know, what do you got? You know, I'm like, okay, here you go. Like, they're like, I never been. And then they'd come back and they're like, that was the coolest thing I ever did. And they, do they're they not used like to, that? they're not, yeah, they the coolest all sound thing like I ever that? did. Yeah. They also, exactly. I just want to like point that. it out that you were <laughs> making fun of the way they talk. So. <laughs> I they'll come find me. Yeah. They'll come find me. <laughs> they will find me. They'll hunt me down. Like, we don't all talk like that. <laughs> Some of us talk like this. And then it's, it's awkward. All right. But we covered they were, the bases so we're good now. Yeah. They were great. They were great renters because they seem to have so much fun. Yeah. You know, people who are new to the sport seem to have. I don't know, maybe they were outgoing because they were in <laughs> sports or something, but they really had a good time. Yeah. At the rental shop, what do you what are you getting most calls for right now, or people getting excited for? Because eventually the winter will slow down. I mean, we've already booked out so many raft orders. Like people already have their permits and they know when they're going. They're they have their rafts res reserved already and. Like I would say, the majority of our weekends in the summer, we've already got rafts booked out. Wow. So if you need one, so you have you have yeah. rafts, but you also still have duckies, right? Yes, yeah, so we okay. have like inflatable kayaks, one and two person canoes, sit on top, hard shell, whitewater kayaks, um, 
all the things. We have a uh, our newest requisition is a we call it the beast. It's a paddleboard for like ten people. Really, it's, it's just is like it inflatable? Feet. Yeah. Got, yeah, yeah. It's, it's longer, hard. two feet longer than our biggest raft. Yeah, it's so. huge. Yeah, that was designed for TikTok videos. Yeah, I think is what <laughs> so it's, it's sponsored by TikTok. It says it on the side. Yeah. yeah. So I've taken it up to Bear Lake with my family, and it's just a blast. Oh, that sounds like fun. So. No, that's great. There, um, can do you think you could take that size down, like the muddy or something? I mean, we should try. Yeah. Okay. Well, Challenge accepted. <laughs> Challenge Daniel keeps accepted. talking about taking it down the snake. He's like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna do that." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Daniel, I feel like that's an Amy thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm here talking for it. about it since before we had it. So anyone can rent from the Weber State University Outdoor Program. It's open yeah, to students and the general public. Yep. Uh, take advantage of that because it's. I mean, really, they're the only place in town that rents some of this stuff. Yeah. Otherwise, you got to go to Salt Lake, which is which is interesting. But yeah, I mean, you can go <laughs> to the U if you want, or to the yeah to the <laughs> in Salt Lake. So and be put the the climbing festival on your calendar. Give us the dates and the and the cost again. Yeah, April fourteenth through sixteenth. Each kind of like the speaker, the comp all have different costs. If you do the comp, you get a free ticket to the speaker. Um, so just sign up for both. I, get I'll do the, the comp prizes. and then just not even participate. Just not there even you try. Go. But just just come for your raffle yeah, ticket, right. though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> free raffle. I yeah. mean, pretty good swag, so yeah. probably yeah. worth it. And then, yeah, each of the clinics varies from free to about $40, um, depending on the clinics. So uh, you can check out our whole lineup of clinics on the website, weber.edu. Find the clinic or the OCF webpage, and then it has a bunch of tabs for the speaker, the clinic, and clinics and all that. Now that you've mentioned that Big Agnes gave you some swag and there's no swag to be given... I know what's up now. <laughs> I think that's the reason enough right there. That that means it's you guys took it home. That's what it's true. Uh, yeah. yeah. Got all the but I'll be stuff. there for that alone. That sounds wonderful. No, it's always so much fun. Typically, people walk away with something. Oh, yeah. oh like at least at the comp, everyone will get something. Yeah. They have every year. You get a sticker. I know. You get a sticker. <laughs> Here's your sticker. But I mean, if you sign up, you get your swag bag, your T-shirt. Your, oh, awesome. Okay. All the the so, good stuff, at yeah. least you get. You'll get something. Yeah, something. So, maybe not a cool jacket, but whatever. Cross your fingers. Cool jackets are nice. Todd, did you have any arts news for this week? I think that I just had a follow up to our to our Gwyneth story. story? Okay, so when she was found, by by the way, it's it's our Gwyneth story. We've been covering this for like six years. Just so, yeah, I want to say it was six or seven years. She was found Gwyneth. So I (laughs) I do like that. I did not follow the case. I I don't have that kind of time, (laughs) but. I do know that um, it played out with a lot of drama. Like it was a big national story. Like it was a big. She big said, "I wish story. you well." Afterwards, to him, and that was a oh, big supposedly. deal. Supposedly, yeah. <laughs> don't really know. Cassandra <laughs> reads lips, and that is not what she said. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really know what she said. We have examined that. We're, we're, we can't just take your word for it. Okay, That's what got enough. us into this trouble to begin with. Fair enough. Oh, okay. Anyway, that, that did take the, that was like nine days of just, I mean, people were just watching that every single day. I log on to the internet and that was like the first thing that popped up. I'm like, Gee, what the hell is going yeah, on around morning, here? Yeah. 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 But um, let's see if that's the end of the story. If I were him, I would probably just let it go. But I don't know if he's going to let it. He says no. He says he's going to take it further. He's going to take it further. No, he's not. Is he crazy? He, he was thinking he, about it. He said that. We sue people. It's what we do <laughs> what collectively. We do. So we're going to take it to the next level. I don't have any adventure news other than. Well, you than, just can't top that story. No, I don't. Comes down to <laughs> I don't. But I do have advice. And that advice, <clears throat> that advice is if you're in one of those cities or you're in one of those homes that, and they're giving away free uh, uh, sandbags, go get you some sandbags. <laughs> Go get you some sandbags. I know North Ogden City. I don't know if Ogden's doing it at all. Ogden Canyon has some available. Ogden Canyon, yeah. They do have some for Ogden Canyon. Um, <clears throat> so pre-book your inflatables, all forms of inflatables. <laughs> yeah. And get some sandbags. And get some sandbags because shit's about to get real here real quick. Uh, yeah, let's see if anybody water's prayed, prayed for that part of it. I think it's just the snow part. We prayed not for the snow. Part. We didn't pray for the floods. repercussions of yeah. it. <laughs> we yeah. didn't pray. We left the floods out of it. So, yeah. uh, I read an article today that said, if a, an ideal spring for the runoff would be that, of course, it's warm during the day, it's going to melt. But at night, if it would stay below freezing in the mountains, so it would get down to below thir- thirty-two or below in the mountains, then that would make 
that would help the rivers from just absolutely going ballistic. So hopefully um, someone is listening. Hopefully someone is the listening. Yes. <laughs> put your put your prayers out there. Save some houses. Uh, that's where we're going with this. I think you're absolutely right about that. Yeah. Seriously, um, though, I live in a basement apartment, guys. <laughs> She's like, do so invest, everything. <laughs> invest in snorkeling gear and inflatables. And I'm just taking the beast home and I'm just going to sleep on it. It's going to happen within a week. You're going from collapsed roofs from the snow to flooded basements. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Collapsed roofs. We got the collapsed roofs. roofs. Um, oh, my gosh. All right. So we'll leave you with a van sessions. This is moonshine from lucky fine we'll catch you on the next ogden arts and adventure show
Thank you so Thank much. Thank you.